there, Internet peeps. It's your good buddy, Rue, here to talk about comics. And you might ask why. Why you want to talk about comics? I'll tell you. Because comics are cool. Um, I think anybody who's watched a bunch of these know that I do my best with the title and everything to kind of pretend that there's some overall theme with each reviews. But uh, with this episode, I can't be bothered um, to even try to find something witty to say that connects all this crap. Crap, that was mean. Um, it's just, it's a mixed bag of um, old and new, and by old I mean maybe like a year or two. I'm not going like, well, way, in the way back machine to my essentials to show off this week. Um, and uh, uh, trade, single issues, um, good books, and quite a few, maybe like two or three meh books that, well, whatever. Um, I, I, I sound like I'm in a horrible mood. I'm not. Let's try. Let's, okay, so let's get started. Let's, let's cheer me up and hopefully cheer you up. Um, the Flash Annual Number One. Um, I know that uh, you and our people are probably sick of hearing me go on about uh, DC's new Fifty Two Flash. That's not my fault. Um, it really isn't. It's uh, Francis Manpole's fault for writing such an entertaining book. If you want to get mad at someone for talking about this book too much, get mad at the guy who's writing it that's inspiring me to tell you to keep buying it, or that keeps telling you to buy it. Um, now, just away from that, when I started reading comics, like again, early 90s, um, annuals were, in my opinion, a complete and total waste of time. Um, they were throwaway stories, either written or drawn or both by some uh, no-name up and comer, nothing against the writer or artist. Like they, 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 they needed a, a test, and annuals were just a good way to throw somebody in the deep end with something that didn't matter. I hated them. I hated annuals. Um, the break in most of my collections is that like I have this huge run of Uncanny X Men in twenty three years. I don't have twenty three annuals because they're stupid. Um, moving on, but nowadays annuals seem to actually matter in in some cases, and if it's done correctly, they're not necessary, but they tell side stories or they, t they they go in depth in something that you might be con con confused or interested in um the flash annual is one of those it is it, this really does if you if you've been reading the flash and you want to know what happened to the rogues why are they the way they are instead of using gadgets they actually seem to have the power that they're named for captain cold um the fire guy weather wizard um this explains that and not only that but it tells a good story about how the rogues got there it tells about um, some infighting there between Captain Cold, his sister, and also lays the groundwork for an upcoming more Grood. And I don't know why. I don't love monkeys in any other book. They're okay. Hit Monkey's pretty cool. But monkeys are okay in comics, but Grood, Gorilla Grood, that whole entire race in Africa, whatever, smart, smart apes, whatever. Was that racist? I don't think so. If it was, I'm sorry. Um... That, that a new Groot storyline coming up probably after the Zero issue next month. Um, if you were looking for a pure, good-time superhero comic, it kind of even feels kind of silver agey to me, except the dialogue doesn't suck. Um, you cannot go wrong with uh, New Flash. The only downside to this book is that it's Barry and not Wally West, and uh, Wally West is superior. Powers, volume, let's say, 33, number 11. This These 11 issues of Powers has have been one big bag of... Meh. Um, maybe it's because it feels like these 11 issues took three years to... Wait a minute. November 2009. September 2000. It basically did take three years to come out. Oh, well, that's... <sighs> um, if, it, if, 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 if that's it, or just it doesn't feel... Something's off about this volume. And, um, this volume just feels like it ended like the last one did. Or whatever the storyline it was where, uh... Uh, Christian became the Green Lantern, or whatever he is. It just feels like it ended the same way, like three volumes in a row, or at least three major storylines in the past six, all seem to have ended the same way. Basically, I don't think I'm going to be getting the next volume. Uh, Powers uh, Bureau, it's, they're in the FBI now, whatever. Um, I really think that what this proved to me was that I was collecting powers out of inertia and not out of enjoyment. And I'm glad that uh, we're starting a new volume because it gives me a good jumping off point and hopefully I'll hear good things and I'll pick up the trade when it comes out, issues one through six, let's say four years. Uh, speaking of delays, I finally got around to um, finishing the 12th. Um, I read all 12, well, I reread one through eight and nine, 10, 11, 12, the first time I was reading them, all in one sitting, and my God, was this not worth the wait. In fact, 
in my entire time of reading comics, I can't imagine any book I can think of that's worth the weight that the 12, Old Man Logan, um, Powers, or anything that's just habitually late, any of them that are worth the weight. And I said, while I've been reading comics, so I don't need to hear anything about Camelot 3000, who I, who I, apparently I know, well, pseudo, the writer of, and he's a really cool guy, and he signed my copy, um, or Watchmen. Um, yes, they, they were late, and they're great books, but they are the exception to the rule. This was not worth four years and 12 issues. Um, it's okay. I guess we should be at least happy that uh, JMS actually finished this story, because from what I can tell, I think that um, old DC ended with Superman still on a walk. I have no idea what was going on with Wonder Woman. Um, just to give you a hit, um, and I'm not kidding, four years. This issue had um, previews for the new series, Terminator the Saracana Chronicles. I think issue three had an uh, advertisement for Iron Man, not Iron Man 2. Um, and this, the twelfth issue, has um, advertisements for AVX. Four years for an okay story, um, whose art really, I don't know if it's what, this was just gross, I'm sorry. Twelve issues of this. I didn't notice it when I read 1 through 8 the first time through. I think I was so high on, wow, JMS is writing a comic book, um, to actually give it a critical thought. Um, it's a good, it's an okay story. If you find it cheap in trade, I'd, I'd recommend it. I just hope that now Marvel can get a trustworthy writer on it so we can get a good story that doesn't take a decade to come out. Guarding the Globe, uh, Volume 1, Under Siege. I don't know why it's called Volume 1. There's only been one volume. Like it, it was a six-issue limited series, and I really do hope they do more. Um, if you don't know, Guarding the Globe is a spin -off, was a spin-off miniseries from Invincible, and um, it's a wonderful addition to that universe. Um, again, also, sorry, if you are reading Invincible and haven't read um, Adam and Eve, Volume 1 yet, um, what it would Invincible Presents, Volume 1, Adam and Eve. This was also a very good comic. Um, Guarding the Globe is a good addition. Um, if you are reading Invincible in trade, do not read Guarding the Globe until after you read Volume 13. Um, Growing Pains, I think it's called. Um, there are spoilers, and it will ruin some things before Volume 13. So that's just a heads up. My only real complaint with Guarding the Globe is the fact that it's been almost a year since it ended, and there's no continuation, because the climax of this was such... A cop out. It really wasn't. There wasn't. Uh, there wasn't a climax, in my opinion. And I'm still kind of confused as to what actually happened. Um, so please give me uh, another mini series, if only to explain the ending of this one. Um, I think it might have worked better as an ongoing, because that way the next month we would have known. Okay, what's the fallout from that? Because it made no made no sense. Profit Volume One Remission. I say this with absolutely no hyperbole intended. This book and I, I'm trying to make this PG now, is fan-freaking-tastic. Um, if you ignore this comic book, if, if after what I'm saying, and I'm not new to it, and I'm, I'm new to this to this pile, everybody I know is, is singing the praise of this. I can't turn on Twitter without someone discovering profit and just give, giving it all the props it deserves. If you ignore this book, I will not listen to you anymore about complaining that there's nothing new out there, that um, decompression is everywhere, that superhero comics have a stranglehold on the industry, or whatever you're complaining about when it comes to comic books. You're just being a hater to hate, and you're ignoring the good things that are out there. I have no idea if Profit 1 through 20, or even if that's how it was numbered, was any good. Um, that volume, whatever you want to call it, was a 1990s image extreme! So I have my feelings that it probably sucked. Um, but Brandon Graham... Um, who is the writer of this, and I don't know if um, the artist, I'm sorry, um, Simon Ray is going to, Simon Ray or Richard Ballerman, I'm just going to put those up there just in case I said them wrong, because I do all the time, as my buddy uh, Worrell once pointed out. Um, Nonsuch? Worrell Nonsuch? I think that's his name. Um, I don't know if that was any good. I highly doubt it, just based on the creator, the, 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 the team that started it and how what it was like back then for image books. Um you can pick this up. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It starts... It, it's basically... It's like Star Wars Legacy. Um, you don't need to have known anything else before that. Um, this is not decompressed at all. Six issues in this trade, and everything... There's no wasted space. There's no wasted image. There's no wasted dialogue. There's no wasted page. This is a compelling, interlocking collection of stories that really do begin to give you a cohesive unit, but these, these issues... I think there's like three different storylines going on. They're all phenomenal. They're all fantastic. Um, if I wasn't on a budget, 
I would break my rule and switch to floppies for this because I, I I would love to read this monthly. Um, so seriously, you're missing out on a great book if you're ignoring profit. Captain America Volume One, American Dreamers. I don't know, Volume One of twenty three. It's it, the newest number one from Ed Brubaker. Don't bother. Um, it was boring as hell. Yes, I've read um, a bunch of the Captain America stuff. There's there's more behind there, um, and this was just an, a boring, boring set of comic books that um, it was actually a struggle for me to finish. I don't want to read Volume Two now, um, which it's been a long time since I like I can't imagine. I can't imagine a day coming when I don't want to run out and grab the new Captain America trade, but that day is here. Punisher Wars... Pu I'm sorry, Punisher by Greg Rucker, Volume 1. I was not a fan... Hell's yes, 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 yes. I was not a fan of, Pun of Remender's Punisher Warzone. It was a fraction. Whoever was doing Warzone and then Frankencastle, which I hear was awesome, um, I just didn't pick it up. I... Warzone just wasn't my... I just... I hated it. Uh, I'll be honest. I truly hated that comic book. And uh, Punisher Max did nothing for me, primarily because Steve Dillon should not be writing uh, superhero and shut up, Punisher is a superhero comic books. Um, I'm kind of actually... I think he's, he's a new one coming out that I'm not looking forward to. Um, because it's a super comic. But let me tell you how much I was... I needed this comic book to be good. I needed a, a good Punisher book that brought me back to the um, Welcome Back Frank days of... of, of Garth Ennis, and and the action. No, Steve Dillon actually worked well with that Punisher run. I have no idea why I didn't like Punisher Max. I just didn't. Um, this is that Punisher book I've been waiting for. It it it. What's best? What's great? I'm sorry. I, I'm stuttering. Um, Punisher's not even the main character in this comic. Well, actually, he is because it's it's named the Punisher, and you know he's the main character. If this was up for an Academy Award, whoever played the Punisher would be best best actor. But um. This isn't really about the Punisher anymore. This, 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 at least this volume, I haven't read volume two yet, is more about how the Punisher affects the people around him. It's more their experiences based because of the Punisher. Um, it's a new ver it's a new outlook on the Punisher, at least for me. I have not been following him since his, I've only been reading Punisher on a regular basis since uh, Garth Ennis' run. Um, so, whatever. Again, it's new to me. I like it. I never thought that'd be a, d again, Punisher, I'm, I, I, I'm choosing this over. If I'm on a budget, I will be choosing Punisher Volume Two if it comes out the same week as America, Captain America Volume Two. Thank you. And finally, Batman Earth One. This is one of those comics where I again say, "Thank God for the library." Um, this was just another uh, meh. This is a re 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 retelling of Batman's origin. Um, it's really nothing that exciting. Um, it, it, it's it, the ultimate. This is. I keep hearing complaints that DC has Marvelized or they're trying to ultimate, ultimize, ultimize, make 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 their comics more like Marvel's Ultimate Universe. And I can kind of see the Marvelization and all that. This is Ultimate Batman. It's really all this is. Um, it's an okay story. Again, if it, if you find it cheap in softback or if you see it in your library, pick it up. I would not rush out to get this. Um, I'm not going to buy... If I find it in like a dollar bin at some time, I might pick it up. Um, I feel... I, I really do like Gary Frank's art. I do find that it was very inconsistent in this book. Um, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I give Batman Earth 1 whatever. That's it for this episode. Um, but the pile of comics that I wanted to talk about was um, actually pretty big. So I've, I'm about to go... F I'm about to film another one right now after this and post it later in the week. So lucky you, extra rue. Um, until then, have a good one and later, peeps.